वही आध्यात्मिक गुरु और ईशा फाउंडेशन के संस्थापक सदगुरु जगी वासुदेव की ब्रेन सर्जरी सफल रही उन्हें कई दिनों से सिर दर्द की शिकायत थी ऑपरेशन के बाद उनकी सेहत में लगातार सुधार हो रहा है अपोलो दिल्ली के न्यूरो सर्जन डॉक्टर विनीत सूरी ने बताया कि सदगुरु के ब्रेन के एक हिस्से में सूजन और ब्लड क्लॉटिंग थी यह उनके लिए जानलेवा साबित हो सकती थी उनका ऑपरेशन 17 मार्च को दिल्ली में हुआ उनकी हालत में तेजी से सुधार हो रहा है पीएम मोदी ने भी फोन करके सदगुरु जग्गी वासुदेव के जल्दी स्वास्थ्य होने की कामना भी की थी ईशा फाउंडेशन से जानकारी मिली थी कि सदगुरु पिछले तीन से चार सप्ताह से सर दर्द की शिकायत थी फिर भी वे लगातार काम कर रहे थे 14 मार्च को उन्होंने दिल्ली के अपोलो हॉस्पिटल के न्यूरो सर्जन डॉक्टर विनीत सूरी से परामर्श किया एमआरआई से पता चला कि उनके सिर के एक हिस्से में खून जमा हो गया है इसके बावजूद भी वे मीटिंग करते रहे वही 17 मार्च को उनकी तकलीफ काफी बढ़ गई जिसके बाद उन्हें अपोलो दिल्ली में भर्ती किया गया सत्रह मार्च को ही डॉक्टर्स की एक टीम ने ऑपरेशन करके क्लॉटिंग हटाई अब सदगुरु की सेहत में लगातार सुधार हो रहा है बुधवार को खुद सदगुरु ने भी एक वीडियो जारी कर अपनी सेहत के बारे में बताया सदगुरु हैज जस्ट हैड अ वेरी लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग सिचुएशन ही हैड हेडेक फॉर द लास्ट फोर वीक्स द हेडेक वॉज वेरी सिवियर एंड ही वॉज यू नो इग्नोरिंग देडेक and doing all because he wanted to do all his normal activities he was resuming all his functions all his meetings um, he even carried out the mahashivratri function on 8th of march despite the fact that he was in agonizing pain he somehow ignored the pain and he continued with all his meetings the pain really became severe on 15th of march and that's when he consulted me and we knew immediately that there was something sinister happening the way the pain was worsening and uh, this was around 4 o'clock i insisted that we have an mri but you know he had a impo- very important meeting at 6 o'clock he is so focused on his meetings you know he told me doctor i have never in 40 years of my life i have never missed a meeting and i can't miss this 6 o'clock meeting somehow we could actually persuade him and we got an mri done and uh, the mri actually showed you know that he had uh, massive bleeding in the brain it was outside the brain and below the uh, bone there was massive two time bleeding some which had happened about 3 weeks back one that had happened maybe 2 to 3 days back but you know we insisted that he gets admitted immediately but because of his commitments he just went ahead with his meeting at 6 o'clock without anybody getting to know that he was that unwell next day he had a very important uh, india today conclave which with lot of painkillers and sedation he still attended that and he you know it was such a marvelous interview he gave we were surprised you know that with so much of pain so much of painkillers so much of sedation he could attend and you know complete that meeting 17th morning however he really got very unwell he became very drowsy while talking he was you know just dozing off he had weakness of the left leg and we had to rush him to hospital and even at that time he would never complain of pain he would just say doctor i am a little unwell but that morning was the first time he said doc i think the time has come to do what you want to do and that's the first time he agreed you know that we could go ahead with the surgery so 17th we admitted him when we got the ct scan there was life threatening swelling in the brain the brain was shifted to one side and he had become very dull very confused and the left leg had started to get weak and we had to undergo an emergency surgery on him on 17th itself uh, we could get him off the ventilator uh, post surgery and um, he has actually done extremely well much beyond our expectation and you know we we were joking with him that you know we have done what we could but you are healing yourself you know so we are actually seeing you know the kind of improvement we are seeing is is beyond our expectation he is now extremely well he is now back to his normal self all his brain body and vital parameters are normal and he is making a steady progress um, i think he is probably healing himself more than what we can do for it